So we have that. One dollar right here. All right, so we have some bruschetta. Is it? How much is that? Hi guys, so this week marks a special week for me. I'm gonna begin the $1 a day challenge where I live on $1 a day for food for seven days in Houston, Texas. This challenge was inspired by a few other YouTubers that I've seen do this in different cities like London and New York. And I wanted to see if this could be done in Houston, Texas and see what this challenge brings me to and I also wanted to shed some light on how hard it is and what the difficulties I will have in this challenge as I try to survive on this dollar a day. There are many Americans that do actually live on a dollar a day or less so I think it's very important to shed some light on that. I wanted to kind of bring some awareness to people that waste food. I know I am guilty of that as well but I try my best not to waste food especially now that I'm a little more conscious about it so I hope this video brings that out. I hope that you enjoy this. I hope it's a fun challenge to watch. I want to just welcome everyone to the channel. If you have not been to this channel before, Sean and Sandy, it's about me and my wife Sandy. We go to different restaurants around the world. We love traveling. We like to show people where we like to go, what we like to order, and lens through our view of our hobby of food and travel and lifestyles. Be sure to subscribe. This challenge is going to be seven different videos. Take a minute to pause the video and hit that subscribe button down below and you're gonna see here that this is a rule template of what I can and can't do for this challenge very simple rule number one I only get one US dollar yes a US dollar per day for food that means I cannot get a dollar one cent a dollar seven cents it's got to be including the taxes I can use it for whatever now if I decide I want to go find a cheeseburger that's under a dollar with tax I can do that not the smartest idea but it is there. Rule number two, I cannot get help from any family or friends. They have to be people that are strangers. Basically, I can't barter. I can't, you know, do that kind of thing with people that I know. So just keep that in mind. Rule number three, I cannot get access to things that are not open to the public. It has to be accessible by someone that can just go on the website and get the offer or RSVP or walk into a grocery store or whatever it is without some kind of special privilege. So I want to make sure that's clear. And then rule number four, I do get to carry over change from the previous days. So if I only spend 50 cents on day one, I get 50 cents for the rest of the challenge that I can utilize. That is allowed. But again, I cannot utilize any more than a dollar for that day that's allotted to it. So day one, I get one dollar, but day two, whatever carryover I have, I can utilize. So I can't go buy seven dollars worth of groceries and make this challenge super easy. I want it to be hard on purpose. I want to feel the stress under me as I do this challenge. I have to get out there and put myself in some uncomfortable situations. So I'm hoping that you enjoy this and I really would like to hear some comments from you guys about what you think of the challenge. Be sure to share this video with people that you feel would enjoy it. If you have friends, if you have family, coworker, pet, whoever, share this video, get it on your Facebook, get it on your Twitter, get it on your Instagram, get it on your LinkedIn. I don't care. Just really get this out. I want as many people to see this and, and see what I experience for this weekly challenge. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, so before we get started on this, I went online, I looked at some offers and deals where I could get free food or cheap food. I want to see, you know, I like to eat out, so I wanted to see what I could get. One of the places I found is Panera Bread. When you sign up for their rewards program online, you actually get a free pastry, which is awesome. I've got the free pastry email in my phone, and I've already gotten the coupon saying you get a free pastry. I'm here at Panera Bread. I'm going to walk in and see if I can get this without any issues. There it is, Panera Bread. I'm so lucky today's weather is really good. This challenge would definitely be a little harder if the, re the weather wasn't cooperating. Oh, I have a lot of pastries. Hello. Hi, I was wanting to claim um, the free pastry. Okay, they have your pastry and then cool. I'll run it at your number when we go back. Like phone number? Uh, it's gonna be to go. Um, what's your favorite? Okay, do you like pecans? I love pecans. Okay, if you love pecans, another good thing would be like the almond uh, okay. pecan or the pecan pie. Okay. Those are really good. Okay. Um, what else do you like? Do you like the croissant or the bagel? There you go. Now we're talking. Let's do the almond croissant. Actually, that looks really good. How many how many uh, offers do y'all usually give out like this a day? It just depends. Like people get them if they go sign up, like for their reward, like right now. Right. 
try to get people to sign up all day long. And they don't want to do it? Or? They do. Oh, okay. That is cool. Thank you so much. You're I appreciate it. Have a good day. Could I have a cup of water? Yeah, too? there you go, sweetie. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, bye. I see some condiments right here. I'm going to grab some stuff. What do we have? We have some ketchup, some salt, pepper. That'll be useful. Some Tabasco, sugar. Yes, some yellow mustard. Spicy mustard, mayonnaise. Cool. and they're about it. It's like they already kind of know what's up, which is cool. So these are all the condiments that I got. I've got like ketchup, mustard, mayo, salt, pepper, sugar. I think it'll come in handy later. Got some napkins, water with lemon, and my pastry sitting right there. So I've got my stuff from Panera Bread. Real simple, you sign up. I've never signed up before, so I'm doing everything legit. Put the right birthday in. If I so happen to get a birthday thing, my birthday's in the month. Not much issue with going in there getting your free pastry she gave me a glass of water and i took some condiments that was cool too thank you so much now before i chow down i'm gonna head to the bank i want to get my dollar for the day there also i know that my bank typically does have free coffee inside so i know that coffee would be a nice thing to start with in the morning with a pastry so here we go with a full breakfast guys i'm now we're here at Chase Bank in Midtown. I wanted to start this challenge off in the center of the city. I don't know whether I can film in here or not. I'm gonna put the camera on my backpack clip. I'm gonna withdraw $1. My plan is to get free coffee here all the days of this challenge, hopefully. Um, they might cancel my account at the end of this challenge, but hey, at least everyone knows that Chase has free coffee. You should open an account with them. With that said, let's get in there. Let's check it out. I'm really hungry. I wanna eat this pastry down here very soon, so. Hi, good, how are you? Hi. 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 Good, how are y'all? Just need one really crisp dollar. You guys have lollipops. Is it okay if I take a few of these? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Appreciate it, you too. Alright, let's get some coffee. Ah, uh, do y'all have any more coffee? I'm so tired right now, I'm willing to wait. <laughs> you know, when you need it. You need it. Uh -huh, you gotta get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mind if I actually use this cup? Yeah, that's what you're Okay, cool. So I didn't spill in the cup. Success. Thank you, Chase. I do appreciate. So I got everything here. I have my coffee right here. It's in a blender bottle. Hey, I've got coffee and water for free. I've got my bread right here and it's time to have a late breakfast no way what she hooked it up with two she gave me two two of these things right here there's another one in there dude that's awesome mm. oh no and with the coffee fresh coffee that was the first time i've done this but that was cool i'm eating like an animal i'm just so overwhelmed right now Okay, so I've had some coffee. I've got a little time before the next thing I have planned. So I wanted to go into a supermarket and see what I could theoretically buy for $1. So we have that $1 right here. I wanna see what I can buy for a dollar. I've done a little bit of research here and there, but I haven't seriously gone in and be like, this is what I have to spend. So I am here at a grocery store that was recommended to me by one of the many food groups for some advice. Shout out to Houston Foodie Friends as well as Asian Eats. I highly recommend them if you're looking for good places to eat around Houston or just in general you like food. Sellers Brothers, I'm going to go inside Sellers Brothers here. I see a lot of people in and out so there's heavy traffic. I'm a little bit disappointed because there's a taco truck that has pupusas right behind me and I have only one dollar and I don't think I can buy anything so that's a little disappointing. Let's see what we can get in here. I'm really curious to know if there's anything I could buy in bulk and kind of make a meal out of that dollar. I'm seeing a lot of $1, 99 cent, 99 cent. Let's see, chicken or turkey franks, two for a dollar, cantaloupe, 99 cents. Chicken breast, 79 cents a pound. Maybe I could get like half a pound. All right, let's go in and check it out. Smith apples. 
three for a dollar small. Uh, I'm liking the pricing here. Two for a dollar kiwis. Okay, so we have pinto beans, 77 cents per pound. Let's see how much one pound actually is. But if you go with black beans, it's only 66 cents. So I actually might do black beans instead. Okay, so this is just under a pound for the black beans. I obviously am not getting a full pound of black beans, but just so you know, I think I'm probably gonna do like a small little bit like that. That'll probably cost like 30 cents. So let's see. Now the next thing I wanna look for is something like a sweet potato or something with some starch in it, because those are typically gonna keep me full and give me some fuel for the day. So I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but that's two for a dollar for sweet potatoes, or two pounds per dollar. So I could get a couple of little ones. Let's see how much like this thing weighs right here. I've never been here before, but it's actually looking good so far. So you get two pounds per dollar. So this is just under half a pound. Okay, let me get a few more. Let's see if we can get some smaller ones again. Just above half a pound, so I think that'll do. Just another quarter. Some sweet potatoes. Maybe some cabbage. I just don't think there's anything small. <laughs> Someone did say I could get one banana. I don't know if I want a banana. It's gonna be like everything right there. Though. Let's see if we get some. Uh... Okay, maybe they'll sell me some meat. Let's see if they'll sell me some meat by itself. I don't know, I doubt it, but let's see. Hi, is there any way I could get like a small, small portion of meat? Just want a little piece of meat, is it possible? Anything, it doesn't matter, I eat everything. It can be pork, chicken, beef, fish, but it, it has to be like very small. Very, like, cause I already spent like yeah. 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, um, so whatever you can, kind you want three, uh, kind, it has pork? to be one pork? whatever's the cheapest that you think I, you can put a little bit, just uh, a little, not yeah. just a small portion, Yeah. but it has to be under like 50 cents. <laughs> is it possible? This is awesome. She pulls it off. She is awesome. Is it? How much is that? 50 cents, you see. What? You did it? Thank yeah. you so much. You're awesome. Huh? I appreciate it. No, no, no problem. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, we got pork. That is nuts. 90 cents? Perfect. Oh, what a bargain. For real. 90 cents and I still got 10 cents left over. I'm so in shock that I'm just losing my focus on what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm in the car, packed up everything. I got the pork. What is so cool is that just being able to get meat, that's a pretty big accomplishment, I must say. I was thinking I'm eating rice and potatoes and right here you can see there's meat on this receipt. I'm so happy. <laughs> You have no idea. We're doing pretty good. It's 1.40, we're gonna head to that next event. Okay, so these events went on Eventbrite. So if you haven't used Eventbrite, it's an event site where anyone can post stuff. I saw lots of nightclubs. I saw lots of workshops, things that are there to help people. There was even private events that were made public. Like, I think there was a wedding even I saw, stuff like that. Basically what I looked for was free events on the days of this week. So I went and looked for, under all the events I felt that would be a good criteria, I looked and saw which events might have free, free food and drink. And so the event right now that we're gonna go to is actually a grand opening for a cake shop. You know, I felt that one, it's food, so I think that makes more sense for me to be at and maybe bring some business to her place. At grand openings, especially for places that serve food or sell food, more than likely gonna have some free food if not drinks as well, especially being that this is a ribbon cutting ceremony. So hopefully they have some good food there to munch on. I know there's probably gonna be at least some cake, I would hope. So fingers crossed, it's down the street, working out perfectly. I've got the pork, I wrapped it in a towel. I just don't want it to melt and go bad because that would really suck, but I think it should last. I just need like two hours from it and then go home and then we'll put it in the fridge and have that for later. So 
Let's go to the cake grand opening. This is for the event. Yeah. Am I okay parked right there? Is that okay? All right, thank you. Okay, so I kind of walked in here not knowing what to expect. It seems pretty cool. So far, I've got uh, a lot of cool things like music behind me here. And uh, her cakes look amazing. So we went to school together back in 2012, 2011. You graduated 2013. Yeah, so she's like one year behind me, Wolf Center. And here we are in 2019, and we're having some appetizers. All right, so we have some bruschetta. Look at these. Thank you. Here we go. Look at all these hors d'oeuvres. Look at these pastries. This is amazing. Holy cow. Ask and you shall receive. This has been an awesome experience. I did not think in a million years that I would get fed like that. She does an amazing job on cakes, first off. The owner, her name is Lorena. And Lorena, she was getting help from a organization. They help businesses, people that are trying to start businesses coming from another country and trying to help, help them assimilate, people that are not necessarily English speakers. Lorena has done an amazing job. I mean, the fact that she's opened her second location here and she had a ribbon cutting, food, hors d'oeuvres, you name it. And her stuff looks really good and it tastes really good. Okay guys, so we're back here. I've got one more event tonight. So it's Basics of Scrum, Agile, and Project Delivery Workshop. It's at WeWork, 708 Main Street, fourth floor. It's at WeWork, like I said. It's organized by the Flatiron School. It's supposed to have some food and drinks available. I've got my ticket. Again, I, I got this information for this event and RSVP via Eventbrite. So again, a very, very good resource to use. You know, I, I'm definitely interested too because it's continuing education, uh, things like Agile, things that are for project management and for effective working and projects and teams and stuff like that so I'm definitely open-minded to this without further ado let's get going I gotta get in there I'm like five minutes to six here so hopefully this is a good one all right, all right so we're in the Weaver building here or no this week Thursday <laughs> Uh, all the software is done for experience, and then I joined Flatiron. Alright, it's a cool event. Cool event, I'm not gonna lie. Learned something, met some new people, stuff I wouldn't do normally. The challenge is going good. Can't complain at all, really. Alright guys, so I'm back home finally for the day. Day one is complete, accomplished the goal, which was to eat well. And I must say I am full. And I want to show you a few of the things that I found. I know I did not cook. Even though I bought groceries, I did not need to cook. The last event actually had Frank's Pizza, which was pretty cool. And I even got leftovers. Check this out. I actually even took the box home, which was awesome. Said I want to show you what I have here. So for tomorrow or for the future days, I will be cooking. I want to cook. That's part of this challenge. I'm really proud about what I got today for that dollar, which I only spent 90 cents, so I've got 10 cents left. If you look over here, 
I've got my black beans. I've got my sweet potatoes. And then I've got my Chase lollipops. Thank you, Chase. And then I've got some condiments that I also got. Ketchup, mustard, that's spicy brown mustard, mayonnaise, yellow mayonnaise, Tabasco sauce, sugar, pepper, salt. And then over here I've got my boneless pork stew meat, which I paid 50 cents for. And then I've also got my second pastry here. I think that's gonna be breakfast for tomorrow. With that said, Stay tuned, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to kind of think outside the box, take some chances. That's what life's about, right? So I met some really cool people as well. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what you think. Let me know what were the things you were expecting me to be doing today. Leave a comment below and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night.